So we're starting out somewhere super great today. We're heading up to the famous Montaña de Siete Colores or Rainbow Mountain Alternative in Peru. We're super excited to go up. Whoa, did you get a load of that guy? I was yeah. chatting it up with the Quechua man. He said we could spend the night, so. Perfect. There you go. He was impressed we had a cat and a dog and, and whatnot. Yeah. People over in their tour bus are uh, having altitude sickness, so we're gonna have to be careful, eat some coca leaves, coca tea. I'm gonna make a coca tea whenever we get back down. It's uh, 15,700 feet. And so I'm guessing that up there has got to be 16,200. So we're going to go show you guys some amazing views over at this beautiful mountain. The reason we're at the alternative is because for the past month, normal Rainbow Mountain has been closed because two communities haven't been able to agree on a price or who gets how much money. We actually did try and go to that mountain and they still said they're... Brave problems. Yeah, some bad problems between the community members. So instead we're gonna check out this one, which we're super excited about. Our friends have already been here and they said it was amazing. They're all kind of rainbow. Yeah. You started it, Sombri. Elevation tonight. Ooh. And not only have we driven that high, we're gonna sleep up here. <laughs> but this is a really, really beautiful place. It's called Polkoya and it has a bunch of rainbow colored mountains. We're so excited we got to check it out. And the hike here is really not that bad because we've already driven up to 15,800 feet. I think the hike goes up to 16,3. It's pretty high elevation, but what a stunning sight. This all used to be covered with glaciers. And now that they've receded, you can see these different minerals that have left lines and it really does look rainbowy. What's insane is that it's not just one mountain here. I think we probably counted six at least. Yeah. We are so high up here. You can see 360 degrees super far once you do this hike it's just the best view I mean this might be the best view I've ever seen in my life and I'm really just happy that we were able to come up here even more importantly there's nobody here yeah we picked the perfect time to head up around two o'clock so that all of the tour buses had left and we were the only people on the Rainbow Mountain. We just feel really lucky to have a van and to be able to do this stuff. This has got to be one of the best places in Peru we've gone so far. You see plenty of snow-capped peaks off in the distance. The biggest one is Ausangate. It's actually back the way we came a bit, the road to it, but I'm really thinking now we have to turn around. <laughs> yeah. Wow, it's beautiful, right? Yeah, Ausangate is a crazy looking mountain. I feel like the ridge to the top of Ausangate could just go forever. Such an enormous glacier, even from this distance, that if we were to drive up underneath there, there's some hikes you can do, there's hot springs, and the mountain would just be towering overhead. Really thinking that might be our next move. You'll see in a couple minutes. <laughs> I don't know yet. Let's have some dinner? Yeah, let's do it. Making some teriyaki veggies and tofu. Yeah, we're not going to starve. Rice. No, definitely not. <laughs> a lot of food. Oh, rice too? White rice, yeah. Super tasty. Remember, Vecho? This is the most extreme night that we've ever had in the van. 
because of this altitude. It is very, very high up here. That makes it harder for us to live and also it's a lot colder. So to combat both of those things, we're going to make ourselves some coca tea, which helps with the altitude as well as tea being warm and nice for the cold. This is a good way to mildly help with your altitude sickness. I don't think it has a very strong effect, but it does help a bit whenever you're not feeling too well. Proven way to help with your altitude sickness is to chew on some coca leaves. Danny's got them in his mouth right now. <laughs> Two sodas, so that was 60 cents, but the bag was like that big. This enormous 100 pack of coca tea was also only 10 soles, $3.50. Right now in the van it is 57 degrees and I am the luckiest lady ever because Danny already warmed me up a thermal bladder. So I've been holding this. Gracias abuela. <laughs> What's funny about this altitude when you're making the tea or boiling the water for this is that it takes a lot longer to boil water too. We've acclimated pretty well so we're hoping it's going to be okay but yeah this is going to be one of the most extreme nights we've ever had in the van. Graham keeps warm by sleeping under the covers and he's also in his little ball right here. Everywhere is Graham's land so we're not really worried. He usually crawls underneath or something like that. So I'm pretty thinking it's warm with her nice big sleeping bag. What is nudges? <laughs> <laughs> but the number one is this down comforter. It has always kept us warm in some crazy cold places, so we know we're always gonna be okay. So wish us luck, we'll tell you how it goes in the morning. <laughs> Good night. Morning. When it came to the sleeping, Emily was far more successful. I was just gasping for air most of the time. I don't feel like I slept much. I had some daydreams at least. This morning when I saw a little bit of light through the, the roof vent fan, Thought, what the heck, might as well get out here, you know, before the tourist buses arrive. I think it's only 7, and the first one probably gets here at 8.30. I got all this beauty to myself, except for this little dog who has been following us around. <laughs> Let's check it out with the morning light, see how it looks. You know, when you see this Rainbow Mountain and, and the other one in pictures, all the tour groups and stuff, they really turn up the saturation. I really love it, especially being here alone. It just feels like real nature, you know? It is a bit rough with the elevation and the lack of sleep. I was up a little late working on this new kind of a video. I have a virtual reality headset, so I've been learning to program for it, but I'm gonna make my first virtual reality video. Basically this hike, you know, you can look all around, see what you wanna look at. If you wanna check out my first VR video, head on over to the Vanderson's VR channel. It's pretty sweet. <laughs> Well, there's the main Rainbow Mountain over here, and it's not as colorful with the frost, but still just a beautiful effect. I can tell there's not a single tourist bus that's arrived. There's not a single person hiking up, except for this guy with his alpaca. <laughs> the alpaca's name is Gondrillo. Gondorillo. <laughs> like people are getting here now so I'm just gonna chill here and read this book into the wild in Spanish given to me by my friend Mario who invited me on that trek Wow, you guys, this place has gotten swamped. <laughs> so many people now, there's a line to the Rainbow Mountain. It's time for the van people to get out of here. <laughs> Hopefully on the way down, there won't be too much hectic crossing of tour buses. <laughs> yeah, we'll see how it goes. Woo, let's get out of here. I'm slowly fading through the smoke. I can't hear myself think. Now every day since I woke up, I can find
drive hasn't been too bad coming down and this is actually the spot we spent the night coming up. It's kind of a nice little spot here with the river. Uh, it's got some sand that Graham's loving to play in and you know, some reed ticking kind of run around a bit uh, as well as being free. <laughs> and there's really no traffic at night. So it's a good spot. So since it is coming down so far, it's a good idea to rest the brakes. So we're gonna have a little lunch here and continue onward after. Thanks for checking on the brakes, Graham. You the man, little buddy. Thanks for cooking. News is, we did decide to head to the Asangate area. Woo, these mountains are beautiful. Tonight, we're gonna sleep with an epic view. Emily's working on the next video for you guys, so I'm cooking up the dinner. But, dang, check out these mountains. It's been really cool going through all these little towns and, and buying stuff for super cheap. We got some veggies, like a whole bag for nine sol, three dollars, less than three dollars. A whole bag of 10 breads for 60 cents. A roll of toilet paper was 30 cents. But uh, yeah, getting a little bit hectic in here. Kind of crazy. Oh, we could have parked right there. And we definitely found this town with like a huge market here. So. It's gonna be pretty sweet. Check this out. We'll show you guys what a traditional little Quechuan town up here in the Andes Altiplano looks like. And uh, everything is just really good price over here. Plus, you got some epic views of the mountain that we're getting closer and closer to, Ausangate, where we hope to do some kind of a hike experience and really get close to that thing. But wow, yeah, very hectic trying to weave our way through this town. <laughs> but now we should get to enjoy it in a moment. It's a sad, sad day. I cannot find peanut butter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're giving up on finding peanut butter here in this traditional little town. And for some reason, they're not letting people in the main plaza. I guess there's a ceremony going on. Emily, you're feeling I'm feeling tall. Just for reference, I'm five foot one and I'm towering over everyone. So this is pretty crazy. <laughs> yeah, it's really hard to decide what to eat though, because I see all this street food and uh, then they got these chicken places. We'll see what we rustle up over here. Oh my gosh. Oh, that was insane. That was a nail biter for sure. I thought the dam was gonna stop. Really I didn't right. think we were gonna make it. That was steep, rock. Just like, just like trying to get up on marbles. There's supposed to be here some kind of like a checkpoint, 
This should take us to Pachanta, which will be right below Asangate. Ooh, hopefully the road doesn't get any crazier than that. That was insane. Oh my gosh. And so far, full bars LTE, but we got a distance to go, so. This road is so much better. I don't know why I took that way. <laughs> Well, everything's new for us, no big deal. Oh, whoa, but check out these views. This is going to be so sick. If these clouds lift, oh, they're, yeah. Chilling in a hot spring with that view. Grammy, I made it somewhere very special. first field view oh I love it now that is a mountain Ausangate yeah so this is the bridge that we would have to cross if we're gonna go for this spot with a view otherwise we can stay for free okay. over at this guy's restaurant so this bridge has rocks underneath Oh, does it? Wow. Wow. Huh. Well, let's test it out. What do you think? Woo. So that guy says he crossed it. Yeah, that guy says he crosses it like normal. It looks fine. It worked. That convinced me. Are you kidding me? That car just like lifted, that llama's lifting up all the, all the things in there. See, the issue is this hill obscures the view of the mountain from the other spot and I'd like a nice view. <laughs> Graham's feeling it out. What do you think, little guy? Too many doggies? We hope you enjoyed Rainbow Mountain as much as we did. Are we going to head on an Asangate trek or just a hike? Make a guess in the comments. If you'd like to get us a Koskenya to go with these beautiful hot springs, head over to our Patreon. We'll see you next time.